What's going on guys? We are back with another video and today we're going to be doing a 30,000 mile review on my Kenda Cleaver RTs. So for size reference of what I'm running, I'm running a 33 by 10.5 by uh, R17. I've been through all types of terrain and I can say after 30,000 miles these things handle just about everything. I haven't personally been on snow, but I've been in sand, especially up here with the sugar sand. And not, not only the sugar sand, but also the beach sand doing Daytona Beach and actually recovering people out in Daytona Beach. And killed in sand, I've done plenty of mud, Florida mud here doesn't play. Have conquered just about every type of different muds that you can think of, the thick slimy stuff to the sloopy wet stuff. Rocks, it climbs over rocks flawlessly and it's, it behaves well on road also and off road. I think it, it's an all around fantastic tire as far as that. So tread wear wise, um, after 30,000 miles, I don't have any of the measurements to tell you the actual tread depth. I do have a quarter for reference and it still has plenty of tread. I mean, as you can see, the quarter I mean there's still there's still a good amount of tread even after 30,000 miles my biggest complaint with these is probably after 20 25,000 miles and I do rotate these every about three to five thousand miles on the truck is they have gotten noisy on the road um, they are starting to act like mud trains super quiet the first 20,000 miles couldn't even tell that they they are they have this aggressive of a tread pattern on them after about 20, 25,000, they're starting to sound like mud trains. So definitely watch out if you're considering one of these. In the long run, they have gotten noisy. The other con that I have with these is, I'm not sure if I just got a freak accent, you know, a freak deformed one or what happened, but one of the tires has a deformity on it. Um, I was starting to get bad vibration, took it, I, I was thinking maybe the, the weights for the balancing fell off, took it into my local tire shop to get it balanced, and you could see it physically on the balancing machine of the tire kind of bulging up and down while it was spinning on the balance machine. So one of these tires does have a defect, unfortunately. So going to be upgrading soon. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to be upgrading to, but going to be upgrading soon. So overall, these tires conquer just about everything I've thrown at them. They're fantastic. Never gotten a puncture or tear in them. The only downsides that I've seen with these tires is after about 20, 25,000 miles, from my experience, they do get noisy like on the mud terrain side. And I don't know if I had a freak tire or what about that deformity. So those are only my really cons. The other, the other pro that it is, these tires are very affordable which is why i went with them but on the flip side of that they are really heavy they are really heavy for a 33 tire so if you want something that doesn't hurt your fuel economy much wouldn't recommend these because obviously with being such a heavy tire the truck has to push a lot more rotational mass so for being a 33 these things are extremely heavy but for off-road performance if you're just looking for an off-roader not something that drives a lot on the road I think this is a great bang bang for your buck but for I won't be buying these again just because we do a lot of traveling and traveling to and from spots on road and on road and performance I feel like at, as loud as they've gotten within 25 30,000 miles I need something that will last me a little more or that doesn't sound like a mud terrain so that's about sums it up if you like the video leave a like and subscribe for more off-roading and overland adventures comment down below if you have these or what your experience is do I just have a freak tire that just randomly decided to warp on me I'm not sure but let me know your experiences with these tires or if you have these tires or if you were considering these tires and I'll see you guys in the next video